Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to safely overclock your GPU without damaging it. If you're using a dedicated graphics card, there's a good chance you're not getting the maximum performance out of it. I'll guide you through the process step by step to help you safely overclock your GPU without causing any damage. You're watching the right video, and this is the only guide you'll need in 2025. Let's get started. All right, to safely overclock your graphics card, you need MSI Afterburner software. Go to your browser and type MSI Afterburner in search bar and press enter. You can download the software from MSI official website, which you can download using the link in the description below. Download the latest version and install it on your computer. Once you've finished installing, go ahead and open the MSI Afterburner on your PC. Here's what the interface looks like. This is the latest version of MSI Afterburner, and it's what we'll be using throughout this tutorial. First, click on the settings, gear icon. In the settings window, first, head over to the fan option and make sure you're using a custom fan curve. You'll want to enable the user-defined software control for the fan. It's a bit more aggressive than the default settings, and you can tweak it however you like. What you need to focus on are your temperature readings and fan speed. The goal here is to maintain better thermals, which can help improve your overclocking performance. Just keep in mind, you don't want the fan noise to get too loud. Ideally, you don't want it running at 100% all the time. So, fine tune your fan curve to strike a good balance between cooling and noise. After that, you will see the difference in your fan speed setting. Next again, go back to setting. In the settings window, check the three boxes, unlock voltage control, unlock voltage monitoring, and force constant voltage. Once you've checked all three, click apply, and MSI Afterburner will restart. Click yes to confirm the changes. Now let's move on to adjusting some important settings. First, go to the fan section and make sure it's enabled or on auto. We'll tweak this later if needed. Then, look for the power limit and increase it slightly. Then the temperature limit slider. Increase it to 86 to 87 maximum. In some graphic cards, power limit will automatically adjust when you increase the temperature limit. There's no need to change the power limit manually. Next, adjust the core voltage slider if it is enabled. Simply set it to the maximum, which is 100. Next core setting, it's time to tweak your overclock settings, specifically your core clock and memory clock. I usually suggest starting with the memory clock since you can typically push it a bit further. This part involves a lot of trial and error, so be patient. For example, you might start increasing memory click slightly and then core click as well. After that, click on apply and then run a benchmark. Personally, I like using benchmarks like Furmark. This is great options for those who want to benchmark graphic cards and see its performance. What you're looking for is a stable run, no crashes, no visual artifacts, and an improved score. Before you overclock anything, it's a good idea to run a benchmark at stock settings and record the score. That way, you'll know if your overclock is actually improving performance, not just running hotter or less stable. Now let's move on to testing your overclock settings. With MSI Afterburner running, open up Furmark to run a stress test on your GPU. Make sure to check full screen and set the resolution to 1920 by 1080, then click Stress Test to begin. Let it run for a few minutes, anywhere from 1 to 5 minutes depending on your system. If your PC doesn't crash or show any issues during this test, that's a good sign your current settings are stable. Now go back to MSI Afterburner and increase the core clock slightly and then apply the setting and run the stress test again. If everything is still stable and your PC doesn't crash, you can go back to Afterburner and increase the core clock and then rerun the stress test again. Repeat this process gradually. If your system remains stable, you can keep increasing in small steps, but don't push it too far. Every GPU has different limits depending on the model and cooling solution. Some GPUs can handle more overclocking headroom, while others might be more limited. If you're unsure how far you can go with your specific GPU, feel free to drop a comment below. I'd be happy to help guide you. And don't worry, this method is safe as long as you increase values slowly and stress test after each step. 
Once you've found a stable setting, launch your favorite game and enjoy the improved performance. And that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you have any questions or run into issues during the process, feel free to drop a comment below. Let me know your GPU model and brand and I'll do my best to help you out personally. Overclocking can vary from card to card, so don't hesitate to reach out, whether you're unsure about safe limits or just want some tips for better performance. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more tech tutorials, optimization tips, and performance guides. Thanks for watching, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video.